On July 3, 2012, the Durango Art Center in Durango, Colorado joined the 50th anniversary of the American Studio Glass Movement by opening HOT, a month-long exploration into the process of producing fine art glass. The Art Center's Barbara Conrad Gallery featured an exhibition built around work produced by Dale Chihuly, artists he has influenced and with whom he has collaborated. Almost all of the pieces in the exhibition came from the extensive collection of the Pismo Fine Art Glass Galleries in Denver, Vail, and Aspen. I got involved with the Durango Art Center through Mary, the um, events coordinator. But Mary contacted me last December about the 50th anniversary of Studio Art Glass and wanted to put together a show for the Durango Art Center. And over the next several months, we worked together to put the show together. She actually went through and picked out artists that she was interested in. I reviewed them, some I rejected, some I added to, um, until we came up with the, the collection that we have now. Local and nationally known glass artists Trefney Dix and Bengt Kwakansen provided on-site lectures on the history of contemporary glass. Uh, this is an example of, um, it's called torchworking, which is a form of glass working which is done with a uh, torch, tabletop torch, but it is a process of using a uh, borosilicate glass, which is different from the glass that we use to uh, blow with, from a furnace. And um, this is a beautiful example of flowers in a nest, and uh, it has beautiful coloration in here. All of these little pieces are added in different bits. And the thing that's really amazing about this piece is that um, these are all added at different points in creating this form, and there are no seams in this piece. And it just really uh, is an example of great skill in flame working. Uh, okay, this is uh, Lino Daglia Pietra's work. Um, he's a classic uh, Italian maestro from a glass blowing family in Italy. And pretty much many of the techniques you see in this room now that are blown, he probably, probably directly or indirectly, the people learn from him at some point. But this particular form is a newer, one of his newer pieces, this boat shape. And um, he basically blows it into like a cylinder and cuts it in half while it's hot and spins it open. And it's extremely difficult to, to get glass to be this smooth and flowing and, and out and not make it look like someone forced it. And it looks like it just happened. Trefney and Vink invited the public to a glass blowing demonstration at their studio in Durango. It actually depends on the colors. You know, some of the colors are better if you wrap on first and then it can build up. And um, I think like with some of the more transparent colors, the blues, you get more of a line if you do the wrap first. Roger and Sindel Dale also provided an open studio demonstration at their studio in Ignacio, Colorado. Even when it's off the blowpipe, we can still blow into it by using a cone called the Sofieta. Blow air into this piece and make it a little bit more even before we open it. Stretch out the shoulder a little bit. Straighten that shoulder out. 